Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased to address you in this side event jointly organized by the government of Uruguay, UNEP, the chemicals branch, including the interim secretariat for the Minamata Convention on Mercury, the SAICM secretariat, and the secretariat of the Basel, Rotterdam, and Stockholm conventions, at least via video conference. The strengthening of sound management of chemical wastes of relates very clearly to FAO's global priorities. The eradication of extreme poverty and hunger is the first of the eight Millennium Development Goals, as you know, adopted in 2000, and one of its targets was cutting in half the proportion of hungry people in the world by 2015. Many countries have made substantial progress in the fight against hunger, and 41 countries have already achieved the first MDG, but even today, over 840 million people are still undernourished. Therefore, we need to increase our efforts in order to fully reach the MDG and to build momentum as we set out our new Sustainable Development Goals for the post-2015 agenda. We need to commit to the complete eradication of hunger since ensuring food security and helping to overcome extreme poverty are the first steps to build the inclusive future we want in which no one is left behind. Or, as FAO's Director General emphasized in his address to the FAO Council uh, that took place last week here in Rome, there is no acceptable number of hungry people other than zero. Food security and nutrition also represent the cornerstone for progress on other development fronts such as employment, education, the environment, and health in achieving a quality future for all humankind. The work of making agriculture more productive and sustainable is very strongly interlinked with the work of the Chemicals and Waste Conventions. FAO, together with UNEP, is hosting the Secretariat of the Rotterdam Convention, which covers certain pesticides and industrial chemicals that have been banned or severely restricted for health or environmental reasons by parties. By working with governments, policymakers, and pharma communities, the Rotterdam Convention contributes to the institutional infrastructure needed to ensure that farmers are increasingly aware of risks to human health and the environment posed by the misuse of pesticides. This enables them to use less and to substitute the most hazardous agrochemicals, which preserves ecosystem services and resources. It also improves occupational working conditions and maintains farmers' health, an important socioeconomic factor that therefore contributes to sustainable crop production and intensification. This side event also relates to the 2014 International Year of Family Farming that aims to raise the profile of family and smallholder farming by focusing world attention on its significant role in alleviating hunger and poverty. Defined as farms that rely primarily on family members for labor and management, over 500 million family farms in both developed and developing countries produce the food that feeds billions of people. In many developing countries, family farms represent up to 80% of all farm holdings. This total also includes groups who, for various reasons, may be considered as vulnerable, women of childbearing age, children, elderly, malnourished people, seasonal workers, and others. Considering the social dimensions of hazardous chemicals and pesticide use, assessing the possible different impacts for women and men, and addressing specific issues of children, the malnourished, and other vulnerable groups can significantly shape risk reduction actions. The Rotterdam Convention Secretariat has started to mainstream all of these aspects in its activities. These are all extremely important topics, and I thank you very much for your attention and wish you a successful meeting.